Hello, urbanistas. This is the story of our homes and our city. Ramon Arlina still lives in his old neighborhood in San Paolo. Success and fame has not made this artist want to move to a more exclusive residential place. He prefers to live where he works. You're an amazing artist, but you're also a really savvy businessman, it seems, because your work up to now is still in demand and you maintained your brand. And Was that something you were conscious about in the early part of your career? No, actually when I started in 1976, I did not really get those kind of uh, pansin huh? until mm -hmm. 1970, 1986, which is 10 years. 10 years? Wala pong pansin sa inyo noon? Wala. I had one month, unang kung one month sa sasca, noon sa painting, um, okay, no? 80%. But when I had the first one month sa sculpture, I had 24 works, I sold four. Sala. But, but you know, it was a struggle from the beginning. Hindi naman pagkatapos, oh, na naog magaling ka lagan. Mm -hmm. Orlina studied architecture. He worked as one until 1975, when he decided to shift to painting and sculpture. And then he discovered glass. You're a sculptor, but you have a degree in architecture. Yes, yes. A lot okay. of people uh, think of me as a classical mm -hmm. sculptor. I am really a sculptor because uh, I, don't, I don't manufacture my glass. As you see, I, I just get the mm -hmm. residue or uh, the throw away mm -hmm. no? and convert it into uh, something which is uh, useful or beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is huge. Mm -hmm. Very rare to see a piece this big. Mm -hmm. How long would something like this take to make? This will take around two months. Two months? Yeah. Wow. Well, nice. This yeah. is stunning. Okay, so there's a female form so there. A female form, you see? Yeah. Now he's looking at you, right? Oh, that's right. So there's that illusion that she's looking, yeah, and then looking. here she looks at me oh, in the here. Oh, see? <laughs> Follows. Follows. Yeah, but actually, actually, I just have mm. the positive here. The positive is here. And then this is just flat. And this is just flat. So mm. this one is, you can see now the negative. Yeah. Now this is the USD one that you're making. Yeah, this is the USD project that I'm telling okay. you about, about this one. Orlina calls this 8.6 meter bronze and glass sculpture Tetra Global. It's for the 400-year anniversary of his alma mater, the University of Santo Tomas, and it will be finished in 2010. So this is your workshop? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's how the master works. <laughs> That's where all the major cutting happens. Ramon Arlina is probably one of the most prolific artists in the country today. His glass works are found in both residential houses and office buildings. That's why he never saw it practical to move out of his house in San Paolo since he moved here in 1989. Orlina only needs to walk this steel bridge to get from his house to his workshop. At first, it was just my storage of mm -hmm. glass. Then I made it into a Orlina Atelier. Ah. Or no, Orlina Atelier. Ah, <laughs> atelier. atelier. Then Atelier. Yeah. This is Atelier. Yeah. That's the Atelier. Atelier. Okay. So, ang ganda ko ng pagka-design niya ng ano. Ano yung sa pinakataas na doon? Ando ng... Oh, it didn't go up. Some of the artwork displayed here came from artist friends. He has works by the sculptor Napoleon Abueva and the painters Ben Cab and Cesar Legaspi, and also works by Jaime Nuida and Rene Robles. Most were given or traded in for some of his glass works. This is by who? Jaime Nuida. Mm. And he told me, Ramo, you know, I'll exchange this for you because this looks like your glass sculptures. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. That one is. Oh, there's a friend from the States. Mm. And, you know. Uh... Did you make this? No, this is a poema. Any significance to this grill work here? No, I just did it like that. Uh -huh. but you know what? Huh? I did it in 1982 when I won the Madrid design of this basketball. Huh? 
Arlena is also a photo hobbyist. Now, I just want to point out that you also are a um, photographer. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> These are pictures you took of Taal. Yeah, no, this is Malati Church. This is? Malati Church. Malati Church. Church. Yeah. Film, this film, film camera. Film, 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 yeah. This one, 1983. Okay, so Malate Church. Malate and this Church. is? This one is Taal. Taal. This is my hometown. Okay. This is uh, our, my mom's old house. Uh -huh. My mom was born in this house. Mm -hmm. So ito yung pinaka main entrance ng house? Yeah, this is uh -huh. sort of the foyer. Foyer, and you got uh, another art piece here. Yeah, Ki Agi. Okay, yeah, Agi. Agi. Wood artist. Ito rin ho, o Agi rin to? Ki Agi din to. This is kasi, but I, you know, notice this. Mayro po siya is Agi, mm -hmm. no? Because this is where I shoot my sculptures. Ah, I you put it here, this? and the, the glass is the, the glass. Perfect is light. This house is far from being an Orlina glass museum. He limited his works to the chandeliers in his living and dining rooms. So this is your uh, dining room, living yes. room, living and your room kitchen. And kitchen. Yes. It's very airy and yeah. spacious. Okay, so um, is that uh, Noguchi? Yeah, Noguchi. Noguchi, uh, nice. And this one was. It's Abueva, you know. Ah, Abueva made that. Abueva made this. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at this Abueva chair. Very modern. Very modern. Really, one thing mm -hmm. I can say about Abueva is really, uh, he has, uh, um, his mind is really, he was yeah. the one who did the functional art here in the Philippines. Yeah. He, he, chairs he is chairs. amazing. He amazing. just keeps thinking like yeah, a and comfortable. scientist. Which is important mm -hmm. is the, 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 the comfort mm -hmm. that you... Did he mass uh, produce it? No. No. One is by uh, Saudi Ahmad, he's okay. a Muslim mm -hmm. painter. So it's interesting that here we don't really see your sculpture, your own collection, oh. <laughs> it's not decorated, but we see your chandelier. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you made that for your house yeah. up there too. And this one is Raul Piedra. Mm -hmm. And this one is Hoya, of course. Oh, beautiful, and okay. This one is uh, by Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. When he's not working on his glass sculptures, Orlina is working on this. He's a fan of the Volkswagen Beetle. This is the other side of Mr. Orlina. Look at that. You made this. Yeah. <laughs> this is a 1974 mm -hmm. uh, Super Beetle. Mm -hmm. So I bought it uh, for uh, 80000 but everything is almost new. The engine was uh, restored into a, a two-liter engine from 1600. He turned this 1947 Beetle into a limo. He cut it in half, added a meter to its length, and put two additional doors from another Beetle for passengers. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oopsie. We're gonna go for a ride. Come join us. It's very luxurious. Everything here is, you know, custom made. Ah, okay. So now my privacy. Yeah, privacy. Wow. This Beetle has dual air conditioning and a DVD player with a surround sound system. The 10-inch monitor is tucked in the backrest of the bench seat. <laughs> oh, okay. So you added this. Oh, yeah. This one is a. It's really part of it. Yeah, part of the Volkswagen that I. Uh, <laughs> So oh, cute! If you are campaigning. <laughs> UZ, Urbanista! <laughs> he is now looking to collaborate with other artists like Ben Cap on a beetle customized with works of Filipino artists. Urbanistas in the Philippines and TFC, thank you for watching and please keep your emails coming. I'm Daphne. Good night and sweet dreams.